Today we're talking about great fragrances that have great alternatives that'll save you a pretty penny. Please stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. For subscribers and old, I really appreciate that you are hanging out with me today. I have been having some issues with my microphone, so I am utilizing my device to film directly out of. So if you hear some discrepancies with my tuning, my voice, that's where that's coming from. Additionally, I do have some background noise that you will hear periodically. Please forgive me. I'll try and edit it out as much as possible. If you have been wanting a certain fragrance, I found a similar fragrance that smells pretty really much giving you that same vibe and it'll cost you a little less not a whole lot less but a little less stating that let's dive right in the first fragrance i want to talk about is by the house of atar the queen of sheba my dears this fragrance smells just like good girl gone bad it certainly does i got samples of good girl gone bad i wore it probably about five or six days i tested it on my arms i had people you know sniff me <laughs> and tell me what they thought and to be quite honest with you i got the same feedback people didn't even know i wasn't wearing good girl gone bad they thought that's what i was wearing as a matter of fact at the counter they didn't know i was wearing i was wearing the queen of sheba the top notes of the queen of sheba includes peach incense tobacco and in the middle you have some citruses some jasmine some rose so you've got some flowers in the middle and then in the base it's rounded off with some white musk and some amber this is really really pretty and i think the similarity between this here and good girl gone bad of course is that peach and then of course the floral notes it, it did last longer on my skin the samples of the good girl gone bad and then i sprayed this on one arm and the other and this out it, it it outlasted it i remember when i first bought this i was like i don't know if i'm gonna keep it but guess what i kept it it's almost a hundred dollars less so i would go with this one which is the queen of sheba by atar the next fragrance i want to talk about i mentioned several times in several other videos and this is one of the most inexpensive to expensive you know comparisons and this here my dear is tom ford's lost cherry we all know about this. It's got cherry, vanilla. Everybody loves this fragrance. Everybody loves this fragrance. But we don't like the, it don't last. It's certainly lost. So what I did is I got me the Dossier version, which is Oriental Cherry and Bad Boy lasts longer than the Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. But I layer these two together because I really love this fragrance. This smells very close to it. So my recommendation is to go ahead and get this, which is about $30, $40, something like that, instead of the Lost Cherry. And if you already have Lost Cherry, I would recommend that you use the Dossier version to layer on top of it to give you more projectivity. Lost Cherry is beautiful. It's sweet, it's resinous, it's got almonds, a little bit of liqueur in it. It's just really a sexy fragrance. It just does not last long on the skin. So I, I said it once, I said it twice, I said it a hundred times. Layer! Or just get this, all right? So instead of Lost Cherry, get you some of this. Oriental Cherry by Dossier. So the next fragrance I want to talk about is one that everyone talks about, and it is Baccarat Rouge 540. This has been, I mean, the talk of the town for like four or five years. This is the oil that I use with the fragrance that I have in vials, because that I purchased a set, a travel set. These two, now I can actually get what I wanted out of this fragrance. I get it with the fragrance oil. However, however, Stramonio by Quinta Canto gives me the same, if not better. Stramonio was created by Paolo Torenzi from, yes, Tiziana Torenzi line. But the house, it's called Quinta Canto, a five, Roman numeral five, and then Canto. And, you know, to be quite honest with you, it's still giving me great Tiziana Torenzi vibes. Okay, it just is. I absolutely really love this fragrance. Stramonio with the saffron, the jasmine, the carnation, and the orchid. Oh my God, it's giving life. Not to mention the presentation of this, guys. The presentation of this is everything. The velvet bottle. Tiziana Terenzi's brand is just really great with presentation. I actually layered the Baccarat Rouge 540 oil with Quinta Canto's Stramonio. And baby, b -b 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 baby. Yes, it was all of that, a bag of chips. Okay, I'm on a diet. So a bag of jalapeno chips, um, non-fat. Yeah, <laughs> a bag of chips. It was great. 
Layering these two together, you're gonna, yes, powerhouse in my opinion. So my recommendation is Tremonio by Quinta Canto over Baccarat Rouge by 40. You'll save you a lot of money, a lot of money. If you have any of these fragrances in your collection, please let me know down in the comments what you think about them. What do you like them? You love them? You hate them? You tried what I mentioned before, you know, the layering combination. If you find value in this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know down in the comments what you like, what you'd like to see. I would really love to hear from you. That being said, please take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>